Hi friends, I hope you are doing great and are not bored during this pandemic summer. Today I decided to make a short journey into my first videos. Look, this is me from 2018 and it's one of my very first videos about programming. Hi guys, it's me Zach Uwak and I hope you're ready to start real programming because today is our video in real programming and we're going to be starting off from scratch. I even found my old t-shirt. It's a little small for me and unfortunately I couldn't find my pants. And that video was about how to make your first scratch game. It is actually a pretty popular video on my channel. It has more than 270,000 views, almost 600 comments, and more than 3,000 likes. So thanks so much for this. It's all you guys, your views, your likes. If you followed my videos, then you'll know that now we're learning a more complex game engine called Love2D and the programming language Lua. I also recommend you to watch my previous Love2D and Lua videos if you haven't yet. It'll help you to be on the same page and have enough knowledge to move forward and learn new things. So why did I decide to jump two years back? Of course, it's not a step back in knowledge or project level. I just want you to see the difference between two game engines. You can see how really easy steps in Scratch need deep understanding and knowledge in Love 2D and Lua. Also, you will see why math knowledge is critical in programming, how to add and use sprites in Love 2D, and how to measure the distance between two objects on the screen, how to rotate sprites in a specific direction. I'll give you some cool tips, like how to debug your program, how to rename variable occurrences everywhere through your program all in one step, and other cool things that will help you build your own game bestseller. Okay, let's go. Okay, first let's create two files, conf.lua for our game configuration and main.lua, our, our main file where we're gonna write the game code. Let's add a few configuration commands to my conf.lua file to set up the game window size and window name for my game. Now let's go to main.lua file and add three main required functions. Love.load, love.update, and love.draw. Now I'm going to create two objects where I'm going to store the properties for my game character. It will be the cat and the mouse. By the way, here is the way how to add comments in your project. Just print two dashes and then everything followed by the end of this line will be just comment and never will be executed as your program. As you know, writing comments is a very good habit. Comments should be just enough to understand what this code stands for. Now let's add the PNG images for our sprites. I've already downloaded them from the internet, created the folder in my project and called it IMG and stored it in my images there. So, so now I just need to add them to my projects and draw them on the green, game screen. Okay, let's run my program. Cool, 
You see, we have two sprites drawn on the screen in random places. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, what next? If you take a look at my first scratch game, my mouse moving there towards the ma computer mouse pointer. Let's see how to do it in Love 2D. In Love, there is a special function called love.mouse.getPosition that returns the X and Y coordinates of the mouse position. So let's add it to our program. But here is the confusing part. We already have a mouse object and it is responsible for our game character, the mouse. Let's rename our character and make it Jerry. If you look at the program, you will see that we have it so far in a couple places. So let me show you how to rename them all in one step. First, double click on it to select this variable and then right click on it. So you will see in the menu option, rename all instances. And it even says how many. I have seven. Then let's select this option and rename it. Voila! All the instances renamed so you don't need to search all of them and you can be sure that you don't miss any. Okay, now let's go back to our variables mouse x and mouse y. That will return the position of our mouse pointer. Do you remember how easy it was in Scratch? We just needed the simple command to point towards another sprite. That's it. But it is not the case in Love 2D. But Lua also has a very handy predefined function that returns an angle for two objects on the screen. Okay, let's add this function. Now let's add an angle property to our Jerry Spray. This is weird. My Jerry is supposed to turn to the direction of the mouse pointer. Let's see what's wrong. I want to show you one useful technique of how to debug your program. Let's print on the screen the value of Jerry underscore mouse underscore angle variable. Okay, so now you can see this value on the screen and we, and we see it doesn't change even if I move the mouse around. Let's print more information on the screen since we can see it is not calculated correctly. Okay, mouse X and mouse Y are also static even if my move if even if I move my mouse around. So the problem is definitely here. Maybe I misspelled the command. Let's check it. The command looks good. Ooh, here's the problem, guys. If you remember, love.update function loads only once when our program starts. That's it. But we want it to check on the mouse position all the time. So the fix is simple. I need to move this line of code to love.update function, which is, get, which is getting updated all, all the time. Let's run it again. Yeah, all works now, great. Our mouse rotates depending on computer mouse position. And as you see, it is getting updates here as well. But here's another issue. You see my Jerry sprite rotates not around its center. This is because every sprite has its coordinates and starts also on the left upper corner. So it rotates also around its corner. We can easily fix it. We have to move its origin X and Y zero coordinates to the center. Here's how. Don't worry about the things you don't understand right now. I'll explain them in details later.
Okay, great. Now it is rotating exactly around its center. So now my Jerry can turn towards the mouse pointer. Here's another challenge. How to make our Jerry sprite move in, in the direction it turns. And we need math help here again. For now, let's just use these codes as I already, and as I already promised, I'll explain what it does in details later. Now it is enough to understand that it changes the X and Y coordinates depending on angle. First, we need to add speed for our sprites. Then let's use these formulas. You see, now my Jerry turns to the mouse pointer and moves toward this direction. Yoo-hoo! How do you like us so far? By the way, I don't need this debugging information anymore, so I can just remove it, or you can always use your comments to temporarily disable it if you expect you might need it later. Now I need to make the cat try to catch Jerry. And I think you have all the knowledge to easily implement it since all the commands will be identical for what we've done to Jer for Jerry. So you need the cat to turn towards Jerry and run to it. Let's do it. By the way, be careful with this command, math.attan2, because it uses an unusual order for the x and y coordinates. Usually the first one goes x and the second is y, but for this command, the first is y and the second is x. So be careful there. Thank you. 
it works fine. Now let's add one simple step. Let's add the cheese sprite so it also appears on a random position somewhere closer to the cat. Fantastic! Let's compare two results now. My two years back project in Scratch and my today's in Love 2D. Which one do you like more? Okay, what do we have so far? My program almost works almost exactly as in Scratch. We learned many helpful things and formulas. We learned how to use images in our program. There are still a lot of things to add to this program to make it more like a game. For example, we need to add collision detection, what happens when you win or lose, but I think it's a lot of information for just one lesson. In my future videos, I'll explain more of the functions and math that we used in today's video. I'll add dynamic speed for Jerry, because right now with the cat having the spa same speed as the mouse, it's not really fun. I'm also going to show you how to end your game, and we'll add even more cool features to this game. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and click this bell to not miss anything about my new videos.